If you are about to speak and get on stage, there are definitely some foods that you need to avoid. Consuming these foods before you speak can possibly negatively affect your performance. And by the way, for the technicality police out there, we are talking about both food and drink. Let's start off with the number one food item that you absolutely must avoid at all costs, no questions asked alcohol now i know that there are some people out there who possibly think aaron they say that when you're nervous taking a shot of alcohol helps you feel more relaxed granted it does and that's because alcohol is what's called a depressant and when you consume enough depressants it makes you feel more relaxed however if you consume that much alcohol you're definitely going to feel the negative effects of it for instance alcohol is known to mess up your memory so if you are trying to remember your speech, you're gonna have a harder time if you're drinking before you speak. Also keep in mind that alcohol is not water. It's going to dehydrate you. And if you're dehydrated while you're speaking, then it's not going to be a good time. And if there actually are people out there who think that consuming alcohol before they drink can help them with their nervousness, I would like you to suggest that to your pilot the next time they're nervous before your flight. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna do that. Okay, with that one out of the way, let's talk about another food item that you should definitely avoid before you speak, and that is anything dairy. Now, there are a lot of people who say that consuming dairy products creates mucus in your throat, which makes you want to clear your throat. However, this is actually a myth. Multiple studies have been done, and there has been no direct relation to dairy products and the creation of mucus. However, there is a sensation that is felt when you consume dairy products that makes you want to clear your throat. Some attribute this to the viscosity of dairy products, meaning that it has a sticky and thick feeling to it. And it's that sticky and thick feeling that makes you feel like you want to clear your throat. But when you clear your throat, you're also damaging your vocal cords. Let's pretend these are your vocal cords. And when you speak, your vocal cords typically move like this. However, when you clear your throat, this is what you do to your vocal cords. And doing that enough times can definitely affect your voice. With that being said, you may want to avoid dairy products if you believe that the viscosity is going to be a problem for you. However, this does not mean that you should cut out dairy products from your diet. Honestly, if I had to cut out dairy products from my diet to speak, I would never speak again. Next food item that you really need to avoid is processed sugar. And when I mean processed sugars, I mean anything that has high amounts of processed sugars. That means your juices, your sodas, your desserts, your candies. You want to avoid them as much as you possibly can, if not entirely, before you speak. Foods that are high in sugar are going to give you a spike in energy, yes, but they're also going to dissipate quickly and leave you less energetic. And again, the sugary foods do not help you with the feeling in your throat, and it can possibly make you feel like you have to clear it. Again, I'm not saying that you need to remove it completely from your diet at all times because I personally love sugar. That's why I'm so sweet. Yeah, I know, that was a bad joke. The next food item that you need to avoid is coffee or any highly caffeinated beverage. Now, there are some people out there who don't recommend drinking coffee before you speak because they say it can dehydrate you, similar to alcohol. However, this too has been proven to be more of a myth. Most caffeinated beverages do not dehydrate you because they have enough water mixed in with them. However, I'm telling you not to consume coffee or caffeinated beverages before you speak because of your state when you're about to speak. Just think about it. Before you speak, you're usually anxious, you're nervous, and your heart is racing. You know what doesn't help with that? Coffee. Caffeine is a stimulant, and a stimulant is going to increase your heart rate, and it's going to make you feel even more jittery, it's going to make you feel even more nervous, and it's not going to do you any favors before you speak. There are times when I travel internationally and I feel jet lag, but because I'm about to speak, I don't need to drink any coffee or have anything to get my energy up because the fact that I'm about to speak will get my energy up by itself. One last thing that I'll say about coffee is that it is considered a diuretic, and let's just say you don't wanna have that problem on stage. The last thing that I'll tell you to avoid before you speak on stage is just consuming large amount of foods in general. A lot of times when speakers speak, they're usually speaking right after food has been served or they're speaking while the food is being served. And when that happens, they may be tempted to eat a lot of food. And I don't care if it's a healthy meal. I don't care if it's with vegetables, 
good carbohydrates like whole grain bread or meat. You don't want to consume a lot of food before you speak simply because it's going to make you feel more lethargic and sluggish. Also, your body needs time to digest all of that food. If you're standing up and moving around while speaking while all of that food is digesting, eh, you're gonna have a gassy problem. But if you do want to eat something, I would suggest just keeping the portion really small and sticking to fruits, carbohydrates like bread, as well as good old water. And then when you're done speaking, then it's time to pig out.